Okay, so in this video, we are going to discuss about the practical applications of our area in daily life. And the problem says, ask us about what is the cost of tiling, that is laying tiles over a rectangular plot of land, the dimensions of which are 500 meter long and 200 meter wide, given the price of rupees 8 per 100 square meter. So can you see that the rate here is quoted in terms of square meter? The, the rate of tiling so how do we find out since we have the rate in terms of area per 100 square meter we first need to find out the area of a plot the rectangular plot and then proceed ahead to find out the cost so we can quickly make the rectangle over here the rectangular piece of land whose length is 500 meters and width is 200 meters okay now we want to first find out the area now from our earlier discussions the area of a rectangle is length multiplied by its width so which is for L we are going to substitute 500 and for W we are going to substitute 200 so which gives us 100,000 square meters now this is the area that we get so we have 100,000 square meters but now there is an issue here the problem is we are given the price price is rupees 8 it's rupees 8 for 100 square meters but now we have here the area is in terms of square meters and this price is in terms of 100 square meter so now we need to find out what is the price for tiling 1 square meter so I can simply divide the it will be 8 hundreds that is we divide this rupees 8 by 100 so I can just write price of tiling 1 square meter is rupees 8 by 100 okay once we have this we want to find out the price of tiling the rectangular piece of land so price this is price of tiling plot is what is the area that is 100,000 square meter multiplied by 8 by 100 so these two zeros cancel out and we have it as rupees 8,000 so this is how we use the concept of area now let us have a look at another example in this example we are asked that how many tiles whose length and breadth are 12 cm and 5 cm respectively will be needed to fit in a rectangular region whose length and breadth are these and these so let us first try to understand what the problem is saying so the problem says that we have some rectangular area for example A and B so let's just make the rectangle here is it so we have these rectangular areas and then we have some tiles which we want to fit in this area but now the tiles are of fixed length that is let us just use another this thing for a tile so the tiles are a little bit small in length the tiles are also rectangular in size and the uh, the length is 12 centimeter and the width is 5 centimeter how many such tiles do we need to lay in the areas that are mentioned so in one case we have 100 144 and the B case 70 and 30 how many such tiles will be required okay so one of the ways in which we can do it is is that we find out the area of one tile and we find out the area of this rectangular region and then if if I divide okay so now what we have to do we have to cover this region with this small small area 
So what we'll do is we'll, if we divide this area by this, then we get how many such tiles can fit into that. So that is what we are going to do right now in our first case in A. Okay, the length L is 100 centimeter, and the uh, okay we'll take W. W is 100 centimeter. We are just following a convention in which we are assuming that W is the width, which is the smaller one, and length L is the longer dimension. I mean, it's just a convention. So, and L is 144 centimeter. So, the area equals L multiplied by W, or it is equal to 144 multiplied by 100, or it is 144. Zero, zero. Okay, now this is the area uh, in centimeter square or square centimeters. Square centimeters. Okay, now we want to find out the number of tiles that could be fitted in, but then we need to find out the area of the tile. So let me just write down area of a single tile. equals the length into width and that is 12 times 5 which is 60 centimeter square or 60 square centimeter okay now therefore I can just proceed to find out the number of tiles required to fit in our region A is equal to divided by 60. So when we solve this we get 240 tiles. So therefore I need to order or I we need to get 240 such tiles to be able to fit in this region. Now let us take the next example example B. In example B we have the width W is 36 centimeter, the length L is 70 centimeter. Therefore, the area which is length multiplied by width or it equals to 70 multiplied by 36, which will give us 2520 centimeter square or square centimeter. Therefore, the number of tiles required to fit in the area B equals to 2520 divided by 60 which will give us 42. So we need 42 tiles to fix into this area. So this was our last discussion on the chapter on mensuration.